to go for my physical today. Hey, dude, does your doctor feel your balls during your physical, or is that just mine? Um, yeah, I think they all do. Oh, okay, so he licks your balls too, right? Mom, I guess it was a good thing I didn't become an altar boy. Why do you say that, sweetie? Turns out they were doing more than just lighting candles. What do you mean, sweetie? Father Tim got arrested today for making the altar boy suck his candle. And by candle, I mean penis. Mom, Billy's sleepover was so much fun yesterday. That's good, sweetie. What'd you guys do? We watched movies and played video games. And then Billy said that he wanted to suck John's penis. But he said no homo, so I guess he's not gay. Um, do you have a bathroom I could use? Um, no, Billy. I actually don't have a bathroom at my house. We were the only house in America built without a bathroom. We shit in a hole in the yard. Yes, of course we have a fucking bathroom, you idiot. Jesus Christ. Do you have a bathroom at your house? Probably. Mom, can you buy me an iPhone? No, Michael. I'm not just buying you an iPhone. Maybe for your birthday in a few months. But, Mom, I need an iPhone. Michael, you don't need an iPhone at all. You want one. Know the difference. No, Mom, I need one because I told everyone I have one, and now if I don't bring it to school tomorrow, I'm gonna look like an idiot. Well, that sucks for you, doesn't it? No, you suck. Mom, why can't I sleep over Johnny's this weekend when everyone else can? Because I said no. Please, I'm gonna be the only one of my friends who can't go. It's not fair. Hate to break it to you, but life's not fair, bitch. Get over it. Mom, I need to get something for school. Okay, what is it? I don't know. My teacher said to write it down, but I forgot to, and now I don't remember what it is. Are you kidding me? Can you ask your teacher tomorrow? When do you need it by? Well, technically I needed it by yesterday. Damn it, Michael! What is wrong with you? Mom, can I go in the ball pit now? No, Michael, are you a psychopath? Those are just breeding grounds for bacteria and viruses, okay? Then why did we have my birthday party at a place with a ball pit? Because clearly your friend's parents don't care if their kids get some kind of crazy disease or something, but I do, okay? So I'm just supposed to sit here and do nothing while my friends have fun at my birthday party? I gave you a coloring book to work on. Oh, gee, thanks. Mom? Why is Grandma's skin so wrinkly? Oh, sweetie, those are smile lines, because Grandma's always so happy to see you. Oh, I thought it was because she's an old fucking hag. But I guess I was just wrong. Dad, can you buy me a new pair of sneakers? Yeah, how much are they? Uh, just $250. $250? What the hell do you need a pair of $250 sneakers for? Who are you, Michael Jordan? Come on, Dad, I need them. No, what you need is someone who's going to pay $250 for a pair of sneakers, and it sure as hell isn't me. Mommy, I went to the bathroom. Oh, that's good, sweetie. In the big boy potty? Uh, nope. Well, then where did you go? I pooped on the floor. Why on earth would you do that? Well, Daddy said now that I'm potty trained, I can start to go standing up. Oh my god, not when you go poop! What's up, Mom? Yeah, hi, Michael, it's Mom. I know it's you, that's why I said, what's up, Mom? Okay, you don't need to give me an attitude, I just wanted to make sure you knew who it was. Again, I obviously knew it was you because I said your name when I picked up the phone. Also, there's this magical thing called caller ID. Well, if you knew it was me, then why didn't you answer the first three times I called you? Mom, look, I found this cool sticker in your bathroom. Michael, that is not a sticker. Take that off right now. Why? It's cool. And it seems like a sticker to me. I said take that off right now and throw it away. I'm not kidding. Michael, what on earth are you doing? Taking shots from the water bottle cap. No, it looks like you're spilling water all over the damn floor. Cut that out right now. Mom, can you help me study for my spelling test tomorrow? Yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. Here you go. Okay, are you ready? 
Yeah, I wouldn't have asked you for help if I wasn't ready yet. All right. The first word's comb. Go. Okay, comb. C-O-L-M-B. Comb. Now, why on earth did you put a random L in there? You know what? Let's just move on to the next word. Spell civil. Okay, I got this one. Civil. S-I-V-A-L-E. No, that wasn't even close. Did you even look at these words? Civil. C-I-V-I-L. You know what? I can't do this. Mom, I wet my bed last night. Michael, you wet your bed last night? You're 12. You haven't done that in years. Um, well, it wasn't exactly pee. It was... Okay, I've heard enough. Mom, what's for dinner tonight? I don't know. I think there's chicken nuggets in the freezer, so maybe those? <gasps> oh my god, are they dino nuggets? No, Michael, I think it's just plain chicken nuggets. What difference does it make? What difference does it make? What difference does it make? Dino nuggets are a million times better. It's not even close. Well, that sucks for you because I don't have dino nuggets. Are you kidding me? I want dino nuggets. The regular ones suck. Hey, Mom, guess what? What, Michael? Today, I went to Chipotle, and I asked for a water cup, <laughs> and then I filled it up with soda. Are you serious? I'm taking you back there right now. We do not steal in this family. I didn't raise you that way. Mom, what does 69 mean? I don't know, Michael. Okay, I'll just look it up. No, don't you dare look that up. Why? Don't you want to know what it is? No, I don't. It's disgusting. Don't look it up. How do you know it's disgusting if you don't know what it is? Because I do. Now don't look it up. I'm just going to look it up. You know what? Give me all your electronics right now. You are never going on the internet again. Mom, can you buy me a pair of Heelys? Are those those sneakers with wheels on the bottom? Yeah, they're so cool, right? No, they're not cool. They're unsafe, and I'm not buying them for you. How are they unsafe? How are they unsafe? Because sneakers are for walking, Michael, not for rollerblading. But I'm going to be the only one at school who doesn't have them. And I don't care. I am not getting them for you. I don't want to go to school. I just want to break the rules. So you don't want to go to school, Michael? Fine, then drop out. I don't care. Become a person of the street. Be poor. Go to jail. What? No, Mom, I'm just listening to a song. You know what? Shush! You have pissed me off enough today. You have no regard for the importance of education. I'm very disappointed in you. Look, Mom, I can be a fountain. Michael, what the hell are you doing? Are you an idiot? I can also be a sprinkler. No, you can't. You're spitting water all over the place. Cut that out right now. Mom, guess what? I found a blue candy on Dad's nightstand. Oh my god, Michael, what was it called? I don't know, Vigra or something like that? Oh my god, what did you do with that? Uh, I ate it. Are you serious? We have to go to the hospital right now. Why? What was in that candy? Don't ask questions, just get in the damn car. That wasn't candy. We need to go to the hospital right now. Oh my god, Mom, what's that horrible smell? Michael, I'm cooking dinner. Jesus, what are you cooking, cow manure? No, it's actually a very delicious Greek dish. Well, there's no way in hell I'm putting anything that smells that bad anywhere near my mouth. Michael, just because something doesn't smell good, doesn't mean it won't taste good. I don't care, I'm not eating that. Oh really? Then what are you gonna eat? I don't know, but it sure as hell isn't that, because I'd rather not spend my night puking. Mom, I didn't know that you were a cop. Michael, I'm not a cop. Wait, but then why do you have handcuffs? What handcuffs? The ones that I just found in your nightstand. Oh my god, you found the- you know what? You're right. I am a cop. I lied. Just don't ever go on my nightstand again, because that's where I keep all my top-secret police stuff. Mom, can we get a dog? No, Michael. We are not getting a dog. Why not? I want a dog. We've already gone over this. I'm allergic to dogs. 
Who cares? You can just sleep in the yard. Oh, that's so nice of you, Michael, telling your own mother that she can sleep in the yard. I know it is. Now you can be nice and get me a dog. Mom, what are we going to do for my birthday party this year? I don't know, Michael. Do you maybe want to have a clown come? No, Mom. Why would we need a clown? Aren't you already going to be there? Michael, I am not a clown. I am your mother. Keep it up and you won't have any party this year. What was that, Mom? Because all I could hear was the circus calling your name. Mom, can you give me a snack? I'm starving. Yeah, of course, Michael. You can have an apple. No, I want cookies or something. Why on earth would I want that? Well, I don't care. This is the snack that you're getting. Well, I'm not eating that. Fine. But remember, this is why I have to buy you husky pants and you don't fit into regular ones. Mom, I can't believe what you did to me today. Michael, it wasn't a big deal. I went back and got you, okay? It wasn't a big deal? You took the wrong kid home from nursery and left me there. What do you want me to say? That kid looked just like you. Mom, that kid was a girl and she looked nothing like me. Mom, guess what? One of my friends at school is a veterinarian. How is one of your friends a vet? You're six years old. I don't know, Mom. I don't make the rules. I just know he doesn't eat meat. Michael, that's not what they're called. Someone who doesn't eat meat is a vegetarian. Vegetarian! Whatever, Mom. You know what I mean. It's the same thing. No, it's not the same thing. You can't just keep saying that whenever you're wrong. Mom, can I go to the pool with my friends? Whose pool, Michael? Uh, the public pool? No, are you crazy? The public pool? That's more like the public bathtub, Michael. But mom, please, everyone else is going. I don't care who's going. You're not going to swim around in pee and chlorine for hours. Sorry, not happening. Mom, guess what today is? Uh, Friday? It's my birthday. Oh, yeah, your birthday. I knew that. Really? Because you seem a little surprised. Uh, yeah, Michael, I think I know when my son's birthday is, but thanks. You're gonna need to pick up gifts for Michael on your way home from work today. Why? Because it's his birthday. I know, I know, I forgot too. Mom, look at this drawing I made. Michael, what is this supposed to be? It's a rocket ship. Oh, a rocket ship. Yeah, this does not look like a rocket ship. Yeah, it does. What do you mean? Are you going to hang it on the fridge or not? Definitely not. But why not? Why? Because this looks like a penis, Michael, and I am not displaying a penis on the refrigerator. I'm sorry, but no. Mom, today at school they asked us what we want to be when we grow up. Oh, that's cool. What did you say? I said that I want to be an astronaut and go to space. Sorry to tell you this, Michael, but that's never going to happen. What do you mean? Why not? Because NASA stopped sending the monkeys to space a long time ago. Mom, I didn't know you used to be in the circus. Michael, I wasn't in the circus. I overheard Dad joking with his friends that you used to be quite the sword swallower before you two got married. And then he said you only do it on his birthday now. What did you just say? Dad said that you used to be quite the sword swallower. Yeah, I know. I heard you, okay? I was just in shock. You know what? Go to your room right now. I need to have a chat with your father. Why? I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Jeez. Go to your room right now! Oh my god, Mom, can you turn on the AC? It's so hot in here. No, Michael, we don't turn that on until July. July? But it's like 95 degrees. I'm sweating my ass off. Well, I guess you just need to deal with it because I am not turning it on yet. You know what? Fine. If you're not going to turn it on, then I'll just go nude. No, don't do that. Fine, you win. I'll turn it on. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, whatever. Just keep your clothes on. I don't want you running around the house naked. Mom, today we had a substitute teacher at school, so we played hide and seek. Oh, that sounds like fun, Michael. No, it wasn't fun because no one ever came to look for me, and I spent three hours hiding in a locker. Well, that's not that surprising. What is that supposed to mean? It means that you can be an annoying little shit and that I probably wouldn't look for you either. Wow, thanks, Mom. I wouldn't look for you either. Oh my god, Mom, someone just stole our car. Are you serious? Someone just stole our car? 
Yeah, they just stole it right off our street. Oh my god, were you at least able to see what the person looked like? No, but don't worry, because I was able to write down the license plate and the type of car that they took. Michael, are you an idiot? That doesn't help me at all! I already knew the type of car and the license plate, because it's our friggin' car! Okay, Mom, sorry I'm not a detective. I thought that's what you do. Oh my god, Mom, Grandpa has teeth in a glass next to his bed! Michael, those are just his dentures. Those are his what? I'm never going near him again. That is so creepy. Cut it out right now. He's your grandfather and you're acting ridiculous. Acting ridiculous? Why does he have those? Because he's old and his teeth have fallen out, so he needs those to eat. It'll probably happen to you one day, too. Oh my god, I'm gonna need those? Mom? Dad said that not all babies are cute. Is that true? Um, yeah, I'd agree with that. How could you say that? I thought babies were supposed to be cute. How? Because, Michael, I saw you as a baby and you were not cute at all. Wow, thanks, Mom. Hey, I'm just being honest. You were an ugly baby. Mom, the ladder Dad was using outside fell over. Oh my god, did you tell your father so that he doesn't fall off the roof? Nope, but I assume he realized. Why would you just assume that he realized? Well, because now he's currently hanging off the side of the roof. I don't see how he wouldn't have realized. Oh my god, you didn't pick it up? No, I came in to tell you instead. Here, Mom, is this what you need? No, Michael, that's a hammer. How am I supposed to put a screw in with a hammer? I don't know, by hitting it really hard? No, they make different tools for different reasons, Michael. Okay, Mom, sorry I'm not Bob the Builder and don't know what every tool is. Calm down. Calm down? I asked you 20 minutes ago and you still came back with the wrong thing. And you don't need to be Bob the Builder to know the difference between a hammer and a screwdriver.